seen in my characters. There are certain characters that ask for love and understanding in spite of themselves. I like people like that. I like people who are not easy to love. <laughs> I was hoping somehow, Michael, maybe you had Nick with you. No. No. Oh, Christ. Senator, I think you are the most exciting political figure in this country today. When I think about the splash you could make if you had this film, I get weak in the knees. And, of course, it's the right thing to do. I think I'm infatuated with you. Ted, I'm leaving you. Please, now, come on now. What am I doing? I'm not taking him with me. I'm no good for him. He's better off without me. Joanne, please. And I don't love you anymore. I wanted to portray someone whose mental instability and emotional frailty was so precarious that she would leave a kid. And I had to understand it myself in order to play it. I came here to strangle you. Nothing I wrote was untrue. What do you mean? That book makes me have to be like Lee Harvey Oswald. It's an honest account of our marriage. But uh, I'm narcissistic? Don't you think you're a little self-obsessed? And, and, and misanthropic and self-righteous and... Well, I wrote some nice things about you. Like what? What? Like what? Like you cry when you see God with the wind. You are a remarkable person, Miss Woodrow. Yes, I am a remarkable person. He came towards me with his arms out, I, I suppose, to uh, embrace me. But the look on his face terrified me, and I got wild. I twisted myself around, and I hit him as hard as I could. The whole railway broke loose, and he went down, and he said my name. <laughs> I couldn't move. Well, I am half German. I speak German. So I know that Merrill was speaking German perfectly with a slight Polish accent and very fast. Ich habe einen kleinen Sohn im Kinderlager. Er heißt Jan. Jan Zawistowski. Er ist sieben Jahre alt. Ich bitte Sie mal nachzudenken, wie er entlassen werden kann. Bitte. It's very hard to act and do an accent at the same time. It doesn't begin to come into it with Mara. She's not really doing an accent. She's someone else. Ja, blond ist er schon. Sieht wie ein Deutscher aus. Und spricht perfektes Deutsch genau wie ich. Ich werde morgen früh deinen Sohn herbringen lassen. Ich werde mir ansehen und dafür sorgen, dass er aus dem Lager kommt. Every time I see her become someone, I learn something about that person that I really hadn't known. The maintenance people are exposed to more hot stuff than anybody. Uh, yeah, look, Karen, it, it, it's the x-rays that are really important. I know, I know. I'm getting this stuff. It's not that easy. It was a project that I'd been interested in for a long, long time. It was the first one that I'd gotten together because I was actually famous and I could sort of put things together. Ah! Morgan. You scared me. Not to. I'm doing something good. I know what you're doing. And you're the wrong person to be doing it. And it's dangerous. And that's all I'm saying. Oh my God, what time is it? I just, I really, ha I have to run. I thought I, we were having lunch. Yeah, but I, I'm sorry, I just, I can't. Molly, what's going on? He's a friend, you know, that's all. I, I, we take the train together and, and I like him. And he makes me feel good. I just, you know, I like being with him and I like thinking about him, so. I hardly even know him, that's the truth. I just, God. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. Molly, listen to me. I don't wanna listen to you. So, you better tell me how I can help. Well, I'm looking for a father. I, I'm 
I want to have a child. It really is much easier than it sounds. Marriage is not involved, or even looking after it. You don't even have to see the pregnancy through. I mean, conception would be the end of the job. It's just, um, your own people. You must have friends. Yes, it's, I mean, um, go on, say. Well, I'm afraid I'm quite strong-minded, as you know. I don't see why I should have to make some sad and decorous marriage just to have a child. You don't want to. No, I'll be delighted. I'm lucky to be asked. <laughs> Not at all. Do you uh, have a gun? She won't like the smell of you. She's had breakfast. Oh, my God, shoot her! How much closer did you expect to let her come? A bit. She wanted to see if you'd run. That's how they decide. She almost had me for lunch. Doesn't that outfit come with a rifle? Yeah, it's um, on my saddle. Better keep it with you. Your horse isn't much of a shot. How is it possible to live with someone and not know something so fundamental? Oh. It's possible to love someone so much that you just don't see anything. You'd have to be living in a dream. Yes. And then the dream dies. And the dream breaks into a million tiny little pieces, which leaves you with a choice. You can either stick with it, which is unbearable, or you can just go off and dream another dream. Can I have the uh, car keys? Nora, Helen. I haven't seen you in 20 years. Nora, of course. I used to hear you on the radio, but then I, I lost track. What have you been doing? Well, I went on concert tour as a pianist living in Paris and Vienna. What an exciting life. I envy you, Helen. I really do. Are you staying with your brother while you're here? Well, I suppose I... We're very close. I saw him in church only last week. In church. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. <laughs> I go past his home all the time. It's hypocrite. So... What's he doing in church after what he did to me? What? Well, you know, he and my mother, they stole all the money my father left me. No. Oh, yes, that's right. <gasps> For 15 years, you see, they hid the will. Oh, I'm so 11 sorry. of those years, oh, I knew. I'm sorry, but oh, you'll have to no, leave. No, no. Sorry for me. But you're making I too much knew. too much. I much wanted to be free. Much. Even if it had, I had it. Suffer for it. All right. I got even. I left it with the peacock. Can you tell us about some of the rumours that are going around town? Uh, yes. One story is that we are part of a bizarre cult. I picked Cry in the Dark because of how people judged a woman, because of how she behaved in front of cameras. And I don't think we're accurately ourselves in front of cameras. This is a photo of Azaria's clothing, and it shows bad blood stains and a bad tear on the left arm. And it would seem difficult for a dog to get the baby out of there. Well, if you've ever seen a dingo eat, they use their feet like hands and they pull back the skin. If you'll notice here, on the hands, there is blood as well. Tough little nut. That the the crack wall is on her face. You're the devil in disguise, or as you are, never <sighs> You must lead a very glamorous life, Mary. <sighs> I suppose so, Bob, but sometimes sitting here, Day after day, banging away at my keyboard. <sighs> Writing can be so, so lonely. Devil in the sky. Oh, yes, you are. Devil in the sky. Do you have any idea what time it is, dear? Suppose it never occurred to you that you might have scared me by staying out so late. I'm supposed to be taking care of you now. What was I supposed to think when you didn't come home? Mm-hmm. Do you mind if I have a drink? Do you mind if I drop acid? <laughs> Dear, I drink socially. I took acid socially. Could you talk a little about how you prepared to be Suzanne? I didn't uh, do very much homework for it, I'm afraid. <laughs> I did take one uh, illegal substance <laughs> that I'd never taken before. 
I thought that was uh, an important part of the research. Welcome to the Past Lives Pavilion. Who is Meryl Streep when she is working? How can she become so many people? Does she go somewhere else? I have a theory. I think she knows more about channeling than I do. To the castle! <laughs> it's incredible! Who are you? I'm Prince Valiant! Who are you? Dinner. Madeline, look at yourself! Huh? Look at yourself! Ernest? My ass! I can see! My ass! And there's something really wrong with your neck, too. I would say so. Oh. Ernest, what's wrong with me? It's a dislocated neck. I've never seen it happen, but it could happen. Yeah, so fix it! I wouldn't know where to begin, Madeline. Oh, for God's sake. Something we have to tell you. Tell me. Because of this violent collision with the train, your parents were hurled from the car. Your mother's head was severed from her body. Yes, but I know where it is. Police have looked everywhere no. for it. Sister Fernanda, will you help me? Will you help me? Uh, uh, Senor, would you do me a favor and just crawl in there and hand me the woman's head that you'll find there, please? Hurry up, Senor. Oh. I think my time has come. Oh, hurry up, Senor. Oh. 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 Mom! Ray! <gasps> You take Maggie and run up to those trees now. Go, go! Don't shoot, Gail. Come on, wait a minute. Terry, back off. I'm not gonna hurt you. Please, Gail. Come on now, you can't kill me. That's funny. I thought there was one left, too. Kill him, Terry. Catch that kid and kill him, too. Wrong way. There was a way. I get the distinct feeling that I'm lost. Are you supposed to be in Iowa? Yeah. Well, then, you're not that lost. I really understood who she was. It was a war bride in my neighborhood in New Jersey. Her name was Nucci, and her husband was a GI who came home and brought this exotic creature, and she would say, Chrissy, take out the garbage. <laughs> and I just was in love with her. I loved the way she talked and moved and spoken. I'm looking for one of those covered bridges out here in this neighborhood. Roseman Bridge? That's it. Well, you go that way and come to Cutter's and turn left. To Cutter's? Cutter's a farm. Small house close to the road. Big mean yellow dog. Mean yellow dog, okay. I can take you if you want. Or I can tell you. Either way, it's up to you. I don't care. It was blood in the car. Blood? Her blood on his jack. Blood everywhere. How do you know it was her blood? Show me. No, no, I want no, to see it. No, it's been taken care of. What? What do you mean, taken care Whatever of? Whatever would burn, might burn. The jacket took a party and washed it clean. Oh, you can't just destroy evidence that might save him. You can't just... What if you've destroyed evidence that would prove he's innocent? How do you know that they were alone in that car? We don't know the facts, yeah. man. But Jacob's innocent. Jacob's not a killer. Bessie, Hank will do things like this just to get attention. He hasn't agreed to be tested for the transplant yet because he knows it'll make him the center of attention. He hasn't? No. Don't worry. He will. I'll make him if I have to. How are you going to make him, Lee? You can't make him come in from the car. Does Mr. Evans ever wonder how Christina clothes and feeds Michael? Does he ask her? Beasts of the field have more concern for their young than that creature has. Do you ever listen to yourself, Kate? You are such a damned righteous bitch. And his name is Jerry. Jerry!
Don't I know his name is Jerry? What am I calling him, St. Patrick? I am a righteous bitch, aren't I? How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. I just have to take it easy. Oh, no. What are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Can you stay the whole weekend? I'm home for a while. Home where? Here? Well, what about your job? I'm going to work from here. Oh, no, 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 no. Not to play nursemaid to me. Oh, mm -hmm. no, that's not. Oh, I don't need it. Man, you'll hate me. I've always wanted to do a movie about a mother that was honest about what they do to make the world wonderful. You're firing me. It wasn't me, Roberta. As of the end of this term, the violin program has been accessed. Don't you tell me this is happening? Come into the office. There must be some way that we can fight this. Fight over what? I don't have any other extra programs I can give them instead. Oh, 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 I see. I see. After 10 years, after 1,400 kids have been, have learned the violin. This is just an extra program. You think I haven't noticed what you've done for these well, kids? Well, do something! I have been on this phone for the past three days trying to do something. But as far as the board is concerned, violin classes are not a priority. Shut the fuck up! Sit down! Shut the fuck down! Who the fuck are you? I just... He's that screenwriter. What, the guy that's uh, adapted our book? Yeah. I should know. I'm, 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 I'm really freaking here, Johnny. Why is he here? Are you going to write about this in your screenplay? I really don't know what this is. Oh, he's lying. Mom, did Dad love me? Oh, really? This is maudlin. I don't like this conversation. I'm a homosexual, Mama. Hello? Please, Mama, say something. Well, you're old enough to understand your father didn't love you without being ridiculous about it. What? I need to go to sleep. We will just forget <laughs> this phone call. Mom! And drinking is a sin! A sin! I raised you better than that. I had played a lot of good mothers who do the right thing. And it was more interesting to look at a mother who, is, who really does the wrong thing with her kids. Oh, and look at you. Look at you. Look what you've achieved. Look how far we've come. It's working, Raymond. And you're going to save our country now in the hour of her greatest need. Yes, Mother. Aunt Josephine? Oh, it is. Is that you? Yes. Oh, good. Come in, come in, come in. Quick, quickly, children. Ah, ah, what, what? What, what? What's that? Mm -mm. Not that quickly. <laughs> you could trip over the welcome mat and capitate yourselves. So, quickly, but not too quickly. It's incredible. We have had sex on every surface of my apartment. Oh. He makes me want to do things. I understand. Oh my god. We have to go. What? Why? Oh. Is that a patient? Yes, it's a patient client. Is that David? For a child, you hope to eliminate the threats to their happiness. That's why mothers are controlling. <laughs> I wouldn't know, I mean. You let me talk to you about our sex life? Trust me, that was harder for me than it was for you. That's why I think that our romance was so short. Because I knew that when we broke up, you would not cry, so I got way over it. Does that make sense to you? No, not at all. There you are, Emily. How many times do I have to scream your name? Actually, it's Andy. <sighs> I need 10 or 15 skirts from Calvin Klein. Okay, what kind of skirts do you... Please bore someone else with your questions. 
Oh, okay. And Emily? Yes? That's all. How are things progressing? I don't think that he has any helpful information. Really? You're new to this, aren't you? This is my first torture. You worry about getting the information, and I will worry whether the information you get is helpful, okay? You focus on the job. I'm the kind of person who sits at home and screams at the television news. It's very, very interesting to climb into the shoes of people whose purview it is to safeguard the nation and really think about how far you'd go to do that. I'm giving you the authorization. 68 was my first year reporting. It was my college newspaper. 1968? Yeah, you were six. 40 years means you should have enough salt to know that we're at a tipping point. As through precise military action, we will take the essential first step. First step? But what have we been doing for the past six years, Senator? World War II took less than five. I don't care if you slept with hundreds of men. You're my mom, and I love you so much. Oh, so... <laughs> and I haven't slept with hundreds of men. <laughs> I believe this man is creating, or may have already brought about, an improper relationship with your son. I don't know. I know. I am right. Why well, you gotta know something like that for sure when you don't? What kind of mother are you? The ritual of putting on the habit is part of like the stations of the cross. You get ready to be this servant of God. That was preparation for the part. Look at that. You blew out my light. You can teach on television. <laughs> television? Mm -hmm. Me? Yes. Oh, Paul. Oh, no, Julia. I think you would be excellent on television. Oh, <laughs> I do. Cool. This year I got to play not only one of the most beloved women in America, Julia Child, I also got to pay homage to my own not-so-famous hero. That's my mother, who was of the same generation as Julia, who shared her verve. She just had no patience for gloom and doom. I'm not like that. <laughs> I am really honestly conflicted how to have my happy movie self in the face of everything in the real world. And I want to say that that's when I have my mother's voice coming to me saying, put the dress on, put on a smile, and be damn grateful that you have the dollars to help. I am really grateful. I am really grateful. Thank you, Mara. Thank you, Don. I'm Julia Child. Bon appétit. We're all different. We all are. Him especially. But there's something kind of fantastic about that, isn't there? Ah! No, mother of oh! What? Get it off! Why are you naked? Why do you think? Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Ew. Not working big close up. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Margaret, with all due respect, when one has been to war... With all due respect, sir, I have done battle every single day of my life, and many men have underestimated me before. This lot seem bound to do the same, but they will rue the day. No one has ever asked an actor, you're playing a strong-minded man. We assume that men are strong-minded or have opinions. But a strong-minded woman is a different animal. Gentlemen, shall we join the ladies? Did you have fantasies? <clears> the <throat> threesome. With? Oh, Carol. Carol with the corgis? Hi! You got another corgi! I know! But three's the limit. You don't eat meat of any kind? Right. 
Is that for health reasons? When you eat meat, you ingest an animal's fear. Ingest what? It's fur? Fear. Goodbye, Mother. He's not usually like this. I'm surprised you're not more worried about him. Were he my responsibility, I would be. What have you done with the cow? She ran away. What? Well, she might just as easily have run away from you. Yeah, but she did. But she might but have she died. Did it! <laughs> Cheers! By midnight tomorrow, bring me the items. Or that child you wish for will never see the light of day! Lots of things are going to change in your life. Someday you're going to wake up and find a gray hair. And I don't mean on your head. <laughs> Never surrender. Never give up the fight. If you have that need, if you have that feeling that you want to express yourself and you want to sing or you want to paint or you want to act or you want to make a film, do it, do it, do it. You know, we need more artists because that's the food of the culture, really. This is what we live for, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs>